the questions raised in Leon Panetta's new book on President Obama's leadership put the White House on defense. Some say the last place it needs to be when midterms are less than a month away. When it comes to 2014, Democrats running for the Senate have been running away from the president. Take a look at these campaign ads. These are all Democrats. I'm not Barack Obama. I disagree with him on guns, coal, and the EPA. The administration's policies are simply wrong when it comes to oil and gas production in this nation. I oppose President Obama's gun control legislation. Nothing in the Obama plan would have prevented tragedies like Newtown. I'll make sure President Obama gets the message. <laughs> Chris Steyer, Walt is our Fox News <laughs> digital, digital politics editor. Who, Barack, who? Good Lord. What? Yeah, I don't even know that guy. Allison <laughs> Lundergan Grimes, the one with the shotgun there, uh, she denied him like she was Peter denying Jesus uh, before the cock crowed when they had her in front of the editorial board for the Courier Journal out there. Uh, they said, Did you vote for him? Oh, wait, we they have asked it. Her, Let's just show oh, the viewers what you're talking about. Let's, amazing. Let's show them a little sample of that. Watch this. Did you vote for President Obama, 2008-2012? You know, this election uh, it isn't about the president. It's about know, making sure we put Kentuckians back to work. Did you and vote for I, I was actually in a way a delegate for Hillary Clinton. So you're not going to answer. And it went on and on. She wouldn't even say uh, she voted for the Democratic president. I did not have electoral relations with that man, <laughs> Barack Obama. And she Come did. On. She, was, she was a delegate for him in 2012. Now, it, there's something very telling in this. And what's telling is the party has already moved on to 2016. Mm -hmm. Alison Lundergan Grimes, who's got Hillary Clinton announced uh, after that debacle that she was coming in to campaign for her. Democrats are moving ahead to 2016. They want to get away from Barack Obama. And they, like Leon Panetta, uh huh. Mm -hmm. Are hoping very much that Hillary Clinton will take the party out of this malaise and into an era of good feelings in 2016. Mm -hmm. what, but what happened? I mean, President Obama didn't make any bones about the fact that he wanted to end these wars. He was going to get us out of Iraq. He was going to get us out of Afghanistan. He was going to run a different sort of policy towards the Middle East. So he did exactly what he said he was going to do. And now these Democrats are like, who? What? Huh? No, I don't know him. I don't agree with him. Look how much I disagree with him. Well, what did he do to his base? He did the thing that he said he wouldn't do, and he started bombing more countries, and it was endless war, and it's 30 years war, and this will go on and on forever. He's down to the point that basically he's got Gwyneth Paltrow uh, and whomever else the people who don't know, essentially, he's he's down to them, and they still are swooning around him about how uh, handsome he is. That's what about, she was he's saying. So dreamy. Yes, I could faint. I mean, it happens to me all the time, everywhere I go. So I understand where he's coming from. Yeah, yeah. But the deal is, he's lost his base because he did. He became Bush-like. He betrayed them. That's why he's thrown out all this crazy stuff. Well, we're going to close Gitmo even if it's illegal. We're going to have nuclear option on amnesty. We're going to appoint, uh, you know, anybody we want to as attorney general. All of this crazy town stuff he's saying because the base is gone and they're listless and they're not coming out. All right, so Meantime, if he's lost the base by doing that, then where is mm -hmm. the reciprocal support from the Democratic hawks, from the Republicans who probably like the airstrikes and so on? Maybe they want him to do more, but they should be at least rewarding him in the polls for doing something. Because Leon Panetta stripped him naked and left him standing in the town square. There's no defense because what Leon Panetta said, and you guys were talking about it before, he made a character attack on the president. He said the president does not have the character to carry this out and will not do it. And when Bill O'Reilly, it was so telling, that conversation, that back and forth, what Panetta was saying, he was basically saying through gritted teeth, was this guy is not in it. He does not have the heart for it. He is not a leader. You know, it's not going to work. Mm -hmm. And if you have a, a, a voice that among neoconservatives and among hawkish Democrats, uh, insofar as those are two different groups, uh, you have a voice that's trusted by these people that says, do not, under any circumstances, the real name of Leon Panetta's book should have been, do not trust Barack Obama, whatever you do. That having <laughs> been said, nobody's going to back him when it comes time to get in the fight. So he's stuck in between two places, and he can't get home, and he can't get ahead. Yeah, and that explains why we saw this week uh, that 53% of the American public now say that this is a, quote, failed presidency. Chris, good to see you. You bet. Joining me now with more, Lanny Davis, former special counsel to President Clinton and author of the book Crisis Tales. And he joins me now. Lanny, let's pick up with that. Do you believe that this is a play by Leon Panetta to uh, prop up Hillary Clinton, who's already created some daylight between herself and the president on foreign policy? 
No, I think he's, um, I worked with him briefly when I was at the White House. He's an honest man speaking his mind, but I think the prior observer had a bit of a partisan interpretation to this whole thing. <laughs> First of all, a majority of Democrats, a majority of liberal Democrats, support the bombing of ISIS without being involved in a ground war, as do most Americans. Mm -hmm. So I don't know where he gets his judgments about the Democratic base. I don't think he's a member of the Democratic base. Secondly, it's easy in hindsight to say that uh, President Obama should have supported the Syrian moderate opposition at the time that Leon Panetta urged him to, as did Secretary of State Clinton. But even Secretary of State Clinton said she's not sure that would have made a difference. And now the president is supporting the Syrian moderate opposition. Wow. Very and the base day. of the party, and well, the base of the party is supporting his policy. So he is very low in approval ratings. Uh, when Harry Truman left office, he had 28% approval ratings. Mm -hmm. History's judged him very well. And Democrats, I would suggest, don't do themselves any good by running away or not admitting who you voted for mm -hmm. or saying all of a sudden that you oppose them. That's so there dishonest, are isn't it? That I mean, it's so be... dishonest. Like, yeah. Does Alison Lundergan Grimes really believe, want us to believe that she didn't vote for Barack Obama? I mean, just why not just own it? It's so disingenuous. Well, I would do more than that. She is a great candidate. I support her. But if I were <laughs> advising her, I would say, Ms. Ms. Grimes, in Kentucky, it's one of the few states in the country where Obamacare has a positive approval because it's worked so well. It's covered uninsured people. It's guaranteed that pre-existing -con conditions aren't going to so cost you it. your so insurance. So throw your arms around and it. And so why it. not support? Right. Well, well that's because what they're we've politicians. Got. We are but Democrats. let me ask you this. I want to ask you this, ask you this because we, so many of the, the, Leon Panetta seems to be taking a, a genuine shot at the president's leadership. Do you think he has a point at all there? Well, I certainly think that there is a point, and I've said it myself, that President Obama has not been a great communicator. His communication shop has failed to get out in front of stories, even on explaining ISIS. It took a long time for him to depart from the JV to the varsity that mm -hmm. ISIS is a threat to our homeland, and that's why the Democratic Party base supports the bombing and the obliteration of ISIS. But he is slow on communicating his policies and I think his disapproval ratings have gone up because there's a great gap for example on the things people like about Obamacare he's not been out there communicating that clearly. Mm. Lanny Davis always good to see you sir. Thank you. All Thank you best. Megan. Up next new revelations from Mr. Panetta's memoir now sparking new calls for him to testify under oath on the 2012 Benghazi attack. Congressman Jason Chaffetz joins us next.